Hi, and welcome to Facts and Firearms in Greater Cincinnati, Ohio. My name is Dustin Wallace. I'm the Director of Marketing here, and today we're going to take you on a tour of our facility. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is one of the entries into the shop floor space. As we mentioned, we're uh, at about 60,000 square feet here in the facility, and we do a mixture of work. So we do a lot of OEM work as well as faction branded items. Uh, we do some white labeling with some of your favorite retailers. Um, and for those of you who've been asking, yes, this is where the uh, eight six barrels are made for both us and Q. Um, so this is a, a pretty cool, pretty cool spot to be. Uh, what some people may not know is we're one of only a handful of companies that actually make our barrels from raw bar stock. So we don't just buy blanks in profile uh, here. We actually take from raw bar stock. Uh, we do our stress relieving here. We do mag particle inspection here, drilling, reaming, rifling. All of it happens in this facility. Really the only thing we send out for is coatings and heat treating. Uh, but we'll take you to the back and walk you around so you can see how your favorite faction barrel begins its life. So this is uh, how your favorite faction barrel starts its life. So if you take a look here, all of our materials come in as raw bar stock. Um, now granted, like I mentioned, we do some OEM work. So some of these uh, metals and materials might be a little different uh, than what you see from facts and branded items. However, uh, all the 4150 CMV and 416 R stainless that we use on our barrels uh, also comes into this space. We run two ovens for stress relieving. Uh, we have a couple that are dripping from the rust inhibitor over there. Those are loaded in uh, for all the uh, stress relieving for your, for your rifle barrels. So if you wanna come take a look at uh, some that just came out. So as you can see, make sure they're not hot. Already drilled, dipped in rust inhibitor, and for the oven. So that's one of the early phases here. And then uh, all the drilling, reaming, and rifling happens in various cells here on the floor as well. We have more manual cells for things that are a little more specialty or larger. And then we have uh, a new Unisig cell uh, that we brought on just a little over a year ago that will do all that drilling, reaming, and rifling in one space. So let's go take a look. So if we take a look here at the Unisig cell, drilling, reaming, and rifling could happen all in one cell for us now. Uh, so these guys are in between setups at the moment, uh, but it just goes from one machine to the other. And by the time it comes through, you basically have a blank that's already uh, drilled, reamed, and rifled and ready to go on to profiling and all the other uh, operations on the floor. We'll keep on moving because one of the other big things that you've seen from us over the last couple of years has been uh, our pistol barrel line has expanded, especially into subcompacts. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a little walk over here and highlight that. So lots of various types of machines, uh, everything from Doosan, Unisig, Haas, VF series, uh, live tooling lathes, a lot of different processes because again, it's not just faction branded items that come through here, uh, but also uh, white label and OEM. So making sure that we have the right tools, that we have some flexibility, that we have space and capacity to move different parts to different cells to get the job done is really important to us. And even when we bought this facility and moved in, uh, was right during the whole pandemic gun run. And so one of the funny things is if you look over there, you'll see the newer side of the facility. Uh, we bought the building and immediately bought the, uh, 
uh, the materials needed to add on right away. Um, so just a little uh, inkling into how dedicated the factions are to making sure that they're here uh, for the firearms community and to continue expanding the brand even after uh, uh, something like the pandemic gun run. So what's running over in this cell right now? Some of our G19 barrels. So if you take a look at this guy, it's already, the profiling's already made. It just needs to be rifled and get our badging and fluting on it. But as you see the top, our signature patented X, and then the rest of the information will be lasered on the side. And uh, again, this starts as raw bar stock in our facility and runs through a series of ops uh, to get, for example, our patented flame fluting on there. So this would be a 416R stainless um, that will then be uh, flame fluted and be a G19 threaded barrel getting on our shelves and the shelves of Midwest Gunworks. Uh, so if you're waiting for some threaded G19 barrels, I know people have been asking when we're gonna have more. See, we're making them, they're right here. So we have an on-site uh, a climate controlled QC lab. Let's go take a look here. And it's always fun to see. Oh, what is this? An 8.6 blackout barrel. Oh my. So this will be one of our Rimage style 8.6 blackout barrels that will be launching uh, uh, summer 2022. We're gonna give that official uh, date at NRA show this year. So be on the lookout for that. One and three twist. These things are crazy. We'll send some footage over to Cameron so he can cut it into the video for you. Uh, but uh, be on the lookout for these. We're gonna have three skews of AR-10 barrels, three skews of Rimage style barrels. So. Keep a lookout for those, and you get to see a little uh, behind the scenes of how it's working. All right, let's come on into the QC lab. All right, so this is a QC lab. We actually built this lab uh, in the facility space when we were moving in, climate controlled. All the pieces that, that come through here have first and last articles. Um, it also helps with engineering, especially on the OEM side, uh, to be able to make sure that tolerances are right, that things are correct, uh, that uh, just like in our pistol barrels, that we have better and type of lockup than OEM. All of that is possible because we have the facility, the tools and the people to be able to make sure that our quality control is right on track. So a little sneak peek into the quality lab. And what's fun for us is we could walk out to the floor, you know, our office opens right up to this shop floor. So we get to see these things go from raw material to a finished product and uh, all the steps in between. For example, one of our patented integral muzzle device barrels. These are a pretty hot ticket item. So again, if you're like, oh man, did you stop making those? No, we didn't. But uh, one of the ways that we do business is we always uh, get to our dealers first. So. If you shop factsandfirearms.com and you don't see that we have uh, what you want in stock, make sure you go check out folks like Midwest Gunworks to see if they have it, because they're going to get it first before it gets on our website. So this is one of our 556 integral muzzle device barrels. This is a patent of ours, uh, just like the A-Rack, just like flame fluting, uh, just one of the, the many patents that we hold here. So we'll keep on moving about. One of the cool processes that we do on site that uh, not a lot of people do, but we find really important is magnetic particle inspection. So we have a mag particle booth over here that I'll show to you. So maybe a little hard to see, it's gotta stay dark. But basically what happens is a barrel will come through here, just like this. It'll be set between basically two electric uh, electronic bases. And then they uh, kind of slurry slushy over um, some incandescent looking fluids with a black light. And you're able to find any sort of uh, cracks or inconsistencies or imperfections in the metal. And it's just one of our QC processes. So uh, making sure that they're of the highest quality that they're shoot to, uh, safe to shoot, um, mag particle is a big reason for that. Most of our barrels uh, are, a salt bath nitrided. 
Um, so these are all pre-coating. What you saw with the 86 Blackout barrel and that integral muscle device barrel, those have already gone through um, the nitriding process. So salt bath nitride increases lubricity. It helps uh, with surface wear and just the overall rigidity of the barrel. And the nice thing about salt bath nitride as well is it's not just a line of sight coating. Uh, this gets down into the bore. Uh, it just makes uh, a really, you know, rigid, long-lasting barrel. Uh, and it's a, you know, it's a cool, juicy process. It's fun. Uh, but we also do PVD as well. So when we get into finished goods, we'll show you that. But if you've ever seen our gold or our chameleon-coated uh, barrels and parts, that is a PVD process, uh, physical vapor deposition. That again also helps uh, with lubricity uh, and uh, uh, overall surface wear reduction. So let's keep on moving. We'll go take a look uh, over here at one of the last ops, and this is gonna be assembly and laser. So we'll go take a look. So what will uh, normally happen over here is, uh, especially for rifle barrels, uh, this is where your extensions are going to be installed and pinned and then uh, we get to run through the laser. The laser's just cool. Let's, let's go take a look at the laser. So right over here is where the lasering happens. So this is when the fax and shield goes on the barrel. Uh, this is where all the caliber markings and everything get etched on. And for our white label and OEM clients, we do offer this service as well. So the only time uh, a fax and logo gets put on something is once it's gone through all of its QC operations and it's uh, ready to be packaged and head out. So that's basically the overview of the shop floor. We do have some other things going on over there, but again, OEM, we can't show you all of it, uh, but it's a, a fun space and uh, certainly a lot of different products uh that uh you may not know actually get made here in cincinnati all right well this room has a lot of names shipping finished goods the gun room assembly uh what's uh, cool about this space is when uh, the company started um the facts and firearms in and of itself was all of it was in a room that was smaller than this and uh we're coming up on our 10-year anniversary so 10 years later it's grown into the 60,000 square foot facility, uh, dedicated spaces uh, for things like uh, assembly and test firing and shipping and all of that. So all of the products that we make, including uh, OEM products and uh, stuff that goes out to your dealers like Midwest Gunworks, uh, all comes through this space. So these guys are the ones touching it and making sure it gets to you, you know, shipping plus handling. Uh, but all of the finished good products, are right over here, but some of the more fun stuff to see is uh, some of the complete firearms in our assembly space as well. So if we uh, take a look over here, this is where all firearm assembly happens. We have uh, four separate benches set up. So all of the, uh, the complete firearms that we do, FX-19 handguns, uh, first line and summit line uh, rifles, as well as uh, the ARAC and then our complete firearms line for 8.6. Uh, all of those are going to be made here, uh, including Hark, test firing is happening as well. Uh, we'll go take a look in here and uh, I believe that's Andrew, one of our armory techs doing some test firing. And also what's fun in here is, you know, NFA stuff and uh, machine guns and, you know, sales and marketing assets. Pretty cool. Let's go take a look. All right, well, since Andrew was test firing them, let's go ahead and take a look at the Ion Ultralight. So the Faxon uh, series of ARs are split into two different families. There's the first line and the summit line. The first line uh, was designed with the first time AR buyer in mind. So we have the Ascent and the Bantams in the first line. The Ascent is a series of 5.56 rifles, so both rifle and pistol configuration. The Bantam is uh, your nine millimeter PCC. Uh, what we did was we still made them with our barrels, uh, our receiver sets, um, our uh, bolt carrier groups, 
but we didn't want to spend uh, the customer's money if they're just getting into it. So more things like mill spec triggers and charging handles, you know, A2 and M4 uh, furniture and so on, uh, mill spec, spec safety selectors. And this then becomes something that they're never disappointed with the heart of the gun, but as you move into uh, getting more used to your firearm, uh, you can start upgrading simple things like furniture, uh, like hand guards, like safety selectors, and so on. But with the Summit line, these are more a little more custom feel out of the box. So what comes with that, uh, the, the bell of the ball, if you will, is going to be the Ion Ultralight. So the Ion Ultralight is actually sub five pounds, as you see it right here. Features a carbon fiber hand guard one of our patented integral uh, muzzle device barrels. This is in our pencil profile, so a lot of weight savings there. Ambidextrous charging handle, ambidextrous safety, and one of our lightweight uh, bolt carrier groups. So it helps with some of that reciprocating mass and recoil reduction. Uh, comes with a tuned gas system. Uh, so if you're into the lightweight uh, crowd or you just really like uh, uh, the feel and recoil, of a tuned, uh, gas, uh, tuned gas system lightweight build. Uh, this is uh, definitely a, a great choice for you and one of the most uh, cost competitive on the market for something that's so custom right out of the box. All right, well, thanks for joining us on uh, the Facts and Firearms facility tour again here in uh, the northern end of greater Cincinnati, Ohio. We're so pleased that uh, Midwest could come in and interview us and let you see a little bit behind the scenes. So if you would like to learn more about us, please visit factsandfirearms.com. Uh, you can follow us on social at Facts and Firearms with the exception of Twitter. That is at Facts and underscore Firearms. Uh, but make sure you uh, uh, get with us so you can stay up to date on all the new things that are happening here. And uh, if you are curious about 86 Blackout, you're going to want to go to factsandfirearms.com slash 86BLK. And there is a dedicated mailing list there that you could get updates on and uh, stay in the know of what's happening. So thank you again for joining us.